was Asian studies. <laughs> well, what? Shut up. <laughs> That'd be a good idea to learn about the neighbors across the pond. <laughs> I, I did it for a quarter and then quit, because check this out. I go to my Asian studies class. Over half the people in the class were Asian. <laughs> That is bullshit. <laughs> you know, I didn't go to Beijing University and take Caucasian studies. <laughs> hey class, how you doing? <laughs> What's that smell? I think it's an A. That's what that smell is. <laughs> For this man right here. <laughs> I didn't mean to intimidate you, but boom. <laughs> So, so I quit, became an engineering major, and did that for a quarter, and then quit that, because check this out. <laughs> I go to my engineering class, over half the people in the class were Asian. <laughs> that is bullshit. Because <laughs> they're smart and they study. Been to Asia a couple of times. I must say, uh, as a culture, they've been around a long time. But they're a little cocky because of that. I won't lie to you. Like China? <laughs> really, China invented feng shui, the ancient Chinese art of placing objects in your environment for positive energy flow and harmony. Now, I've been to China, and I'm here to tell you, feng shui may work. But apparently, the ancient Chinese art of feng shui hasn't really caught on yet in China. <laughs> Let's take the garbage and put it in the river. Yes! The flow, the chi, the peace. You've been to a Chinese market, even one in America. It's the most chaotic place you'll ever go. A car bomb would organize the place. Have you been? <laughs> it's like, here we'll have flowers, and right next to it, a slaughtered pig. Yes! and some Adidas for sale, and a live cat, and a calendar from two years ago. What? It's actually tough traveling as an American overseas these days, isn't it? It's tough, because everybody looks at you like you're somehow responsible for something they disagree with. Not you in general, but you specifically. You individually. I was in a British pub, and this total stranger gets in my face after 10 minutes. Yo, yank. How come you won't sign the Kyoto Protocol? <laughs> I'm just having a beer. I didn't know about the Toyota uh, Corolla recall. Yeah, you call yourself a leader of the free world, yet sometimes you support the most oppressive regimes when they serve your interests, don't you? <laughs> I just came to look at castles. I don't know. <laughs> came to look at oppressive regime housing. I learned how to shut him up, though. It works every time. Okay, just do this. It's, it's wonderful. Just look him right in the eye and go, whoa, whoa, excuse me. I'm Canadian. <laughs> uh oh, sorry, mate. Can I buy your beer, then? Works every time. Actually, and that's a red, redneck Brit, too, by the way. Yo, yank, oi. Right, I'm from Birmingham. Oi, oi, oi. 